Hi, so my name is Arlene. I've been macrobiotic for about 18 years. And I'm not quite sure how he not roped me into this, but we're gonna, I'm going to present um, three desserts. So what I want to start with is the Canton, because I like to have the agar agar soaking in the water for a little bit. I, for me, it, I feel that it, it, um, it dissolves better that way for me. So I'm going to take a tablespoon of the agar agar. And what is agar agar? It's a uh, seaweed that is a gelatin, like it's like a jello kind of a thing. It's a, it's a seaweed. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna use a cup of water, but I'm gonna soak the dried fruit. I'm making it with dried fruit. So I'm going to soak about a quarter of a cup of dried fruit in the water also. But I don't like to cook it together because I'm going to blend it and then I prefer the fruit to be I be whole pieces. So that's going to wait till I finish. Now I'm going to start the cookies. I'm going to start the cookies. And I measure, I'm doing almond cookies. So I've measured two cups of almond flour. Um, it calls for a pinch of salt, which I literally just do is a pinch of salt. I can find the salt. And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. which I'll measure right now. So I have a teaspoon. So those are the dry ingredients and I'll whisk them together. And then the wet ingredients, is a quarter of a cup of coconut oil. Oh, so I can do this. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I had a measuring cup. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to. It's a quarter of a cup of oil. So it's a quarter of a cup of rice syrup. I put the oil in first because then the rice syrup will come out easily from the measuring cup, which I kind of pours out. Uh, a teaspoon of vanilla. And a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. And the apple cider vinegar and the baking soda together are supposed to make it kind of fluff up a bit. Oh, and I should be preheating my oven. Two. About 175, I think. 350 Fahrenheit. So I like to mix my wet ingredients together and then I'm going to put them into the dry. I'll mix the dry with the wet. And it should become a dough. I like that should. I would say key word is should. 
And sometimes I use my hands to mix it together because it's much more fun. And I'm still using the spoon. Can you I'm hold it that we can see what, see the Well, I'm, it's oh, still mixing. There you go, there you go. So it looks to be together pretty well. I'm going to add in about a quarter of a, what is it, a quarter of a cup of chocolate chips, uh, six tablespoons of chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Where'd you get them? Well, I don't remember the name of the store. Clara, do you know that store on Rubank Street that has the nuts and stuff? She's the muted. The one in, in, in Catamon? In Tapiote. My daughter does. I'll ask her. Yeah, so that's actually where I got them. But they sell chocolate chips at um, the health food store. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, these are 85% actually. Okay, so it's pretty mixed together. Let me see. And I'm gonna, I have a scooper. Scooper dipper. So I have a scooper and I'm just gonna scoop it. Oh, okay. thank you. Onto the cookie sheet. And I might want to use my larger scooper because it will go quicker. The store that she mentions is Ras Al Hanut. Does that sound familiar to you? What's it called? R A S Ras Al Hanut. Mm, I have no idea, to be honest. Okay. It's like a little McCoy. They don't have a name outside. I, I don't know. And they're only open twice a week. Um, is it right if I ask a question? Yeah, sure. sure. Go ahead. Uh, instead of coconut oil, can one put sesame oil? Um, well, I personally wouldn't put sesame oil in 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 cookies, but just because of the flavor, I, I have used olive oil. Olive oil. Uh -huh. you, could, you could give it a try. And sometimes I use like half olive oil and half water because the flavor is so strong. Okay. So coconut oil is kind of, yeah, it's it's nice taste though, isn't it? Coconut oil. Okay. Now I have my cookies. Uh, can you see the thing? And what I do is I'm going to wet the, wet the palm of my hand and I'm just going to press down on them because the cookies are not going to um, shrink it up. They're not going to. I think, can you move the oil there? We can see your, your bottle. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Actually, closer to the drain board is better for us to see. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what I like to do 
is I like to add some more chocolate chips on top, especially for those ones that don't look like they have much, because everybody's always looking for the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just going to add a few to the tops. No, that's clever. I'm going to bake it for 10 minutes. I'll bake it for 10 minutes. I got a assignment. What did I do with my phone? I can tell you. Yeah. Okay. Let's do let's do it for eight minutes. Can you time it for eight minutes? Sure. Wait. So that takes care of that one. Cool. Um now I'll do the, the no bake cookies, which actually is just cooked a little bit on cookies. Top of the, uh, on top of the cook pack, this one. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah. So this one is uh, three tablespoons crayon. Seven rice syrup. I have just enough. Cool. I love it when it works. <laughs> Seven of that. And I'm going to do six peanut butter. You can change the nut butter. You can change the um, uh, sweetener. You could use uh, date syrup, you can use agave, you can use maple syrup. Uh, and I'm going to turn the key down. And just kind of bring it to a boil. Um, this one I was experimenting a bit with on the proportions, and it was originally a little bit more on the peanut butter and a little bit more on the oil, but I found it pretty rich, um, so I cut back a bit, but I also played with not having, I'm going to put some cocoa in, because that's what the recipe called for, but I'm going to play with also not putting the cocoa in, and I think I like it much better without the cocoa. And then if you don't put the cocoa in, you would cut back on the uh, sweetener. Why is the cocoa sweet? No, the cocoa is bitter. It's, it's right, I see. It, it's, right. There's no sugar in it. Got it. I'm going to use this other one. So 
I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of bubbly along the sides. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put in the um, cow. I've already measured out three, three tablespoons. And what I like to do is I like to put it through a string so that it's not lumpy. I, I feel that it, it blends much easier. And then I'm going to put in the oats, which are right here. This is two cups of oats. And I actually like to uh, cook in a few minutes. Oh, they burned again. Uh, wow. No, the oven's too hot. Because you still had three minutes to go. Wow, really? Yeah. I was on 175. My first batch burnt, which is why I put it down for less time. It's at 10 to 15 minutes. Now I know. Well, I would cook the cookies five minutes. Well, four minutes, actually. I would do it less, less food. OK. Now, I actually put in a little bit more oat because that was what was left in the package. <laughs> so, this is what that looks like. Mm -hmm. Normally, it would be a little bit more chocolatey. And I like to put it, I like to put it, I have this glass container. I just put it directly into the container. I don't, I find I don't need to put oil or anything in it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press it down in the container. Can you bring it to the other side to show us? Yeah, good. Mm -hmm. um, the original recipe said that you freeze it and then you can take it out of the freezer like a half hour before you want it and slice it. But I find it does pretty well on the counter. I don't need to put it in the freezer. It's really quick, huh? Yeah. So that's the... Yeah, there you go. So that's that, and now, I've got the canton to do. So I go back to the agar that's been soaking. Um, my fruit. I put the liquid from my fruit in there. So have you measured that out, the liquid? I did it in the beginning. I took a cup of water and a tablespoon mm -hmm. of agar. I put half the water with the dried fruit so it'll be a little soft by the time uh -huh. I'm ready to put it in. And I put half with the agar. So now it's really just the whole cup of water with the agar right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm going to do Kuzu. Yeah. 
I think I wrote a half a teaspoon of kuzu. I usually just kind of put it in. And I dissolve it in a little water. And what is kuzu? Kuzu is a thickener, and it will make the canton a little bit creamier when I blend it. And I, I dissolve the kuzu. Kuzu is a root, it's a starch, it's a, it's a root. I blend it with my the, with a little bit of water. That was the extra, I think I put one teaspoon of water. I blend it with my finger usually, because then I can make sure I get all the lumps out. And I can't, I just need to wait for the water to come to a boil. I'm also going to add a nut butter, two, two teaspoons of a nut butter, and two teaspoons of rice syrup. So the nut butter also should help make it creamy, and the syrup will give it a little sweetener. It hasn't all dissolved yet, so I'll wait another minute. Does anyone have any questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself if you have a question. Do you have a favorite among these three or others? Cashew cheesecake. I mean, did you ever try to make uh, like commercial desserts or so-called like uh, croissant or did you ever try to make any of those kinds of things? Uh, I don't do croissants. Um, what have I done? Uh, I pretty much skip the cookies and cakes. Um, I have a question. Yes. Okay. Um, how can you have all these desserts and still stay slim? That's my biggest problem. I'll eat them all. Oh. I shouldn't. Um, I cannot make them. If I make them, <laughs> I will eat them all. I, I'm only doing it for the for the forum. Class. I don't usually make all these cookies. I usually have something, you know, either once or twice a week. I don't usually have stuff in the house. I I haven't baked in a while just because I don't want I also am the same way. I'll eat it if it's in the house. So my preference is not to have it in the house. <laughs> yeah. She'll, Thanks. she'll often give it away. Oh, yeah, that was my last thing. And sometimes I'll bake. A, I have dinners at the house. I used to have dinners every two weeks um, during the summer. So if I have leftovers there, I'll, I'll, I'll give it away.
Okay, so I think it has mostly dissolved. Interesting, it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to add the nut butter and the rice syrup. So I like the nut butter to dissolve. It's going to get blended in the end anyway, but I like it to dissolve. Oh, I add in a pinch of salt. Any particular kind? Oh, uh, well, I'm using the pink Himalayan salt right now. I was told by someone that it's nice to use a variety of salt because each salt has its own minerals. And I'm going to add the kuzu. Not better than not all dissolved. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Arlene, did you just add kuzu to uh, something warm that's yes. already hot and yes. it didn't like get smushy? Okay. Or would I added water to the kuzu earlier, a few minutes earlier. So it was cold water I added, so it was a liquid. So it should start to thicken up a little bit. Kuzu, oh, okay. needs, to be, kuzu needs to be cooked. Oh, I know that, but I started cold and I thought I understood you added it to something hot. Yeah, no, I've always added it to something hot. No, she okay. dissolved it first in cold water and then added it. No, I got that. I got that. Oh. I just did that. But. All right. So for right now, I don't know if you can see, this is my mm -hmm. yeah. pan pen, so. which I'm going to put aside. To, you know what? I might just use this. And I'm not finished yet. I just happen to have a cold one that I made. <laughs> so I'm going to blend it. Julia Childs would do that. And I'm going to add in now the, the cherry, the dried cherries that were soaking earlier. My favorite. And that will be my canton. 
to you. That's great. I don't know if you can see it. So is it going to set up like a gel, jello? It won't be like a jello because if, this one actually this morning, I forgot to put the kuzu in. So it would be a little bit thicker, but I forgot to put the kuzu in. So mm -hmm. it's not going to gel like a jello, but it'll be more like a mousse, a moussey kind of a dessert. Because of the amount of agar that you put in? Well, I thought because of the mix of the agar and the kuzu, it will become moussey. That's what uh -huh. I always understood. The agar, if I leave it agar, will just be jello. I don't right. know. What? So won't this be a jello then? Well, I blended it, so it's not going to be a jello. I see. It's more like a mousse. Will you let us know? Okay. <laughs> so those were the three that I was going to present. Oh, cool. <laughs> I ended on so, time. Before time. Before time. So questions. Yeah. Anybody? Lois, anything? Vesna, Maya, Clara, who's got questions? Grace, Irene, Leo, so Janet. Chocolate chip cookie. Ooh. And they need to they need to sit on the pan about 15, 20 minutes to cool. Otherwise, they just crumble. Akos, Mike, Amanda, Helen, Rebecca. I can just say it looks lovely. Yummy. Okay. Bob, Michelle, Carol, Charles. King Charles, Devora. I just got here and I have to go in and out because I'm working somewhere today where I'll get to listen for a bit and come, but it looks great. Thank you. So they're all pretty new recipes for me. And as I say, I'm still playing with it. And uh, hold on. I have a question. Do you deliver? <laughs> Are you in your Chilean? No. Uh, outside. I I usually do not. I do not deliver. Um, I I was cooking for people. Um, I find I'm very busy right now. I um, I'm going to be going away the end of October for two weeks. So when I come home, I hope to start up with um, soups. I usually make soups for pickup. Oh, you could quickly make us a soup now. Um, I, <laughs> I could if I had the vegetables in the house. Charles, where outside of Jerusalem are you? Small lay of the beam. The other direction. Okay. From Haridar, huh? Yes. <laughs> Arlene, did you show us the no-bake cookies or I missed something? Well, the no bake was I, I I didn't bake them, but I put it on the on the burner. That was the peanut butter, the coconut oil, and uh, yeah, with the oats. And that then you put it. Ah, you put, okay. So it, when you cut it, what is it like a fudge? Uh, yeah, it actually was pretty fudgy the first time I made it. What cut it? I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe you can move back. I will. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Yeah. Taste it for us, Arlene. I can't. <laughs> oh, gosh. I, 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 I can't. I had so much of a chag and Shabbat. I can't. I can't eat any of it. I really can't. Um, um, I have a question. Thank you. Thank you so much. What what would be a couple of your go to soups that you your favorites that you like to make just in passing? Uh, well, I I I made a sweet potato coconut soup coconut milk soup, which was excellent. Wow, 
I really liked it, but I'm really not having either one of those right now. But <laughs> it, it, it's very simple, you know. I I probably sauteed onion, added the pumpkin, and then used half. You know, I I used water, but I I I added coconut milk in there, and I just seasoned with salt. That was very simple. Oh, nice. And do you have a couple others? Uh, I do a lot of bean soups. Uh, with just beans or lentils and vegetables. You know, if I have onion, celery, onion, celery, carrot, sometimes I put in zucchini. I season with salt or shoyu. Um, and then different herbs. I'll use uh, margarine, I'll use thyme. Uh, what else do I use? a few others. I've been out of the soups for a few weeks now, so I'm not thinking clearly, but um, I do that. Um, what else do I do? I just make a vegetable soup of all kinds of vegetables. I also add oh. salt and margarine. That's the one. Oh, nice. Favorites. Yes, that's great. And of course, our miso soup. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Excellent. You're a beautiful chef. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, so as I was saying, I was cooking for people, but I, I, I find I'm very busy right now. So I'm hoping to pick up the soups when I come back mid-November. And the desserts, I, I tell you, the desserts become expensive because I use rice syrup. Yeah. And, and here in Israel, it's it's actually quite expensive. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Good. Well then, Arlene, it okay. remains for me to thank you, which I do sincerely. You gave a beautiful class and I'll Happily have you back again. I'll have an hour. We're going to do soups next time. What are we going to do? Yeah, okay. We signed up. We've got witnesses. <laughs> soups, That'd yes. Great. Soups. All right. <laughs> if not, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get the recipes, right? Because I was too busy yes. watching that I didn't write them. Yeah, down. so my, my problem was these are pretty new recipes for me. So I was still experimenting even up until Shabbat. So yeah. I didn't send it to her until late last night. So I was a bit behind on that. But I figure she'll send it when she sends out the link for the replay. Exactly. Exactly for the recordings. Yeah. If you yeah, fancy so packing them up and shipping them out to us, Arlene, you know I'll always... Amanda, I'm waiting for you to come. Just waiting for you to come. You wait. You have to post them. You'll have to wait a long time for me to come back. I well, miss I'm your desserts. I'm not holding my breath. But... <laughs> you can always send out a goodie parcel. Well, I think by the time it gets to Australia, it won't be so good anymore. <laughs> I'm interested to try that peanut fudgy one. Yeah. yeah. Well, I find what I, I prefer, it, uh, there's a bunch of recipes and they all use oats. And I cut back on the oats and I started using those crispy cereal, you know, the rice cereal. And I like that much better, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm playing with that. I have another recipe in the works. Uh, cool. We'll see, but I forget everybody knew the crispy, you know, the crispy things. Oh, the rice crispy. Yeah. yeah, people do that. But doesn't they, don't they go soggy if you do them with the peanut butter and the oil? No, I find that they do not sog. I find the oat one is actually pretty um, creamy. I actually put too much oat in it right now because I wanted to finish the bag. <laughs> but oh. I, I find it's pretty, pretty creamy. So is it like guggy when you try and chew it, like when peanut butter st sticks to the roof of your mouth? Um, maybe it's more really like a caramel, yeah. So you need it with a nice hot herbal tea? Oh, I only take 
my desserts with tea. <laughs> Anyway. So Alrighty it. then. In a nutshell. That's it. Well done. Okay. Beautifully done. All I right. Like then. Good. More Thank power you. hats off. Thank you Thank very you. much, Ali. <laughs> Bye.